Hello, welcome back to another video on Kingdom of Heroes. Today we are going to continue the climb up to floor 100. So for this video, I will aim to probably go up to level 60 and uh, if it doesn't take too long, maybe even up to level 70. Okay, so here we go. Now it's level 51. So I'm just going to use my generic team to um, see how far I can go from here. Oh, this team, my Iblis is gonna die, I think, because uh, the the boss, I mean the enemies are all uh, green element, and my Iblis is water, right? So in the previous video, I cleared from uh, floor 0 to floor 50. Um, I have a slight challenge in floor 40, because I just don't want to bring in the right team for to win the boss but apparently after i brought in um charlotte and lucifer it's quite easy and for floor 50 um the boss has no defense at all the boss doesn't have any defense just higher attack and more hp so i use lucifer to put the dots and then just to nuke it down you probably can even nuke it down with pure pure damage without even lucifer but it probably will be a quite quite a tight um quite a tight rope to walk on because um, you only have limited limited turns to to kill it so 40 and 50 shouldn't be an issue for you unless you are quite new to the game uh, if you are like quite new like as in less less than a month probably you can clear up to level 50 from there but otherwise it shouldn't be an issue why is my floss slipping? Why is he slipping? Huh? I mean, not that I will lose the fight, right? I don't think so. Okay, okay, it's still quite safe. Oh yeah. yeah. Still quite safe. In this team, I do not have a healer. The only heal I have is from floss second skill that does only one continuous recovery not a lot so that's the only sustain i have for now it seems like um from 450 onwards it's all the green all the all the three element the three three element all the green element so if your team is strong in water and not so much of a fiery fire or, or green then you probably have a hard time But they don't do a lot of damage still. I mean, the damage is quite alright. Not a lot. It says that they are level, the opponents are at level 63. Not very high as well. <coughs> I mean, for the, for the Tower of Oman, it's quite different from the Guild Conquest. The Guild Conquest, um, the level of the, the monster can go up until like 80 or even higher, like 90. But for, for the Tower of Oman, the max level that this opponent's uh, monster can go up to is level 70. It's just that they probably change the stats here and there. Okay, now we got a five fire fire team with the Minotaurus and, and, and who else? I don't even know who is that. Okay, next turn is uh, I think 45. You know, 55 after this round, is it? At least somewhere here, they probably need to indicate which floor I'm at now because there's no indication of which floor I am at. Not that I need, not that the information is important. I feel that it's, uh, the, the small things that, that they can add on to the game just to, like, for example, now I'm, I'm not sure which floor I'm at. At least there's uh, information there for me to take a look at it. If you want me to uh, make more videos on this game Kingdom of Heroes, remember to subscribe because um I have been doing quite a lot of video on this game as well. Now oh yeah, now it's 54 and the next round is 55. 55 okay, it's all the win again. 
yeah so if you want me to make more video on this game i really i really need to know how many people are watching as of now on average i get maybe like five to ten views per video it's not a lot so i'm not really doing it for views i'm doing it because uh, just in case people may need to know how this game is being played mm, i'm also learning how to do facebook uh, not facebook but um, youtube video and i find that it's quite a challenge because currently my computer is not able to support the streaming or even support the recording you look at the, the resolution that you are watching now the resolution is not so good right it's quite pixelated and uh quite choppy the image is quite choppy also so it, this has got to do with my laptop uh, processor it's just a normal laptop it's not meant for heavy um heavy duty recording editing streaming or gaming so it's not meant for the purpose initially when i got this laptop it's more for work so i realized that it can only be used for work and anything more is is quite it's quite taxing on the image so i probably need to get a new new laptop or rather desktop computer just for streaming and gaming because the quality of the the laptop it it affects how people will want to look at the stream right but i hope that the content that i'm delivering um like how to clear certain stages and stuff is going to help new players and even existing players to increase their uh, enhance their heroes further i got some comments here and there from from a few viewers who asked me about this like which hero i should, should get for my first five star and uh stuff like that i find that i like this kind of engagement so if you watch the video i i would love it if you can like in, ask me questions in the comment or share your thoughts about my video doesn't matter is it good or bad fine because i'm, I'm not the best player in the game and uh, i may not have all the answers to the game but at least i might be able to help you or i might be able to give you some some advice to help you progress and if you are already um beyond the content that i can provide i hope that you do find some entertainment value in the game at least we have a common topic to share you playing this game i playing this game and i think i'm the only player that is uh, streaming or rather recording these videos in english i tried searching on youtube and i couldn't find any other videos on kingdom of heroes i mean there's a there's another guy who who does uh this game in thai thailand it's in thai language so but his level is not so high i'm not sure whether is he still playing the game or not so and the rest of the games are are, are, are recorded during the the trial period so now maybe in korea someone is recording maybe not on youtube i don't know let me tell me in the comment let me know is there anyone else out there doing recording for this game i couldn't find any video on the game you know i couldn't find any maybe it's in korean language so i don't even know what's the korean name of the game so there's no way i can do a search on on google or youtube to to find this game every time the 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 title for the video that you saw in in korean i don't even know whether is that the name of the game i just copy and paste from somewhere that sort of mentioned that it might be the name of the game okay okay now we are at from 58 okay if floor 60 is not going to take too much time maybe we can go up to floor 70 but floor 70 i expect myself to be stuck hopefully not i'm not jinxing myself i hope that i'm not jinx, jinx. i don't want to jinx myself but uh, there's a good chance that i might be stuck let's clear floor 60 first who knows i might be stuck there Now it's getting harder to auto because it takes a bit longer for me to kill off their heroes. I mean, it's, it's still doable without any sustain, but uh, I, 
moving forward from floor 61 uh, i probably need to change my team this team is all right because they have enough damage but i probably will switch out um frost for my astaroth to have more sustainability uh, because astaroth has the two turn uh, continuous heal Okay, this is 58 right yeah 58 and now we go to 59 hmm 59 okay let's go i'm gonna analyze the boss uh floor 16 boss uh, stats again later and just to show you how 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 the strategy is going to be like because it's supposed to be a strategy game, right? So I'm supposed to share strategy. Um, if you're stuck before floor 60, you can't clear those uh, trash trash wave here. You probably need to in farm more farm more ruins. That's the only strategy. You have to farm a lot of ruins to to make your hero stronger. At least all of them must have six star uh, percentage stats. On, on slot two, four, and six, and then uh, all should be all. You should all get six star ruins, and then the substats should be something that you want as well, and not some random substats like accuracy on, on someone like Merlin. Merlin doesn't need accuracy because he got not, no debuff to put on the opponent, so he doesn't need any accuracy. Okay, we have clip floor. 59 let us go to floor 60 now i'm going to analyze the boss okay floor 60 um okay this is the boss right yeah so look at the skill this is like normal stats for for like a, a normal hero not too strong but the hp is quite high so it's again max 1000 damage as your HP drop. Okay, so it deals more damage as your HP drops. And um, slice an enemy in front and convert 200 damage as HP. So the more HP it drops, the more the damage it dealt. And the more damage it dealt, it heals for more, right? So it heals for more. So what you probably need here is like, um, like um, the, the block heal. You want to prevent the boss from healing. So that will come in useful. Okay, the rest of the monster is not so much of an issue. So you, I probably need block heal, but I do not really have an have a hero that. Okay, I I, I probably have. Um, do I need Lucifer? Okay, I'm gonna bring in Lucifer. Okay, if Lucifer fails, I will bring in my Ifrit because Ifrit uh does block heal as long as the the boss has a dot on it right so as of now i'm using iblis iblis can do the block heal as well but it's only with a 30 percent chance so if i get if i'm lucky with lucky with uh, iblis i might be able to clear okay so the 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 strategy here is to clear this for this uh trash mod fast and then focus on the boss okay here we go i hope i don't need to take more than one attempt so I can continue the climb. Okay, so the map is quite small. Um, my okay, my Lucifer is going to move to the back because Lucifer is going to get attacked a lot. Yeah, I'm just going to use the AOE here to clear to clear the trash mob faster. I got 36 turn remaining. I should have enough turn to kill the boss. I think okay 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 let's slow my lucifer oh no mm, stuck okay now we focus on the boss so i'm gonna slow the boss next turn not this turn because uh the boss the the bar is almost full i don't don't want to waste one turn of the slow Okay, put one dot on the boss ready. It heals. 
I'm just going to put another dot on the boss. Do some damage. Now I can... Okay, I got two dots on the boss. Now I can slow the boss. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I got three dots on the boss. I'm going to shoot Merlin up because um, the boss is going to attack my Merlin and if he attack, if he do any damage, he's going to heal. So I want to prevent um, the boss from healing. Oh no. Why does Merlin have to move? He's not going to attack my Iblis, so I'm safe here. He's going to attack my uh, Freya, and if and Freya has a shield. Why, why can't I get the block heal on? See, he, he doesn't heal. So now my Ifrit has to run away from, from hit the boss. Now next turn the boss is going to heal quite for quite some HP. I need my Iblis to land to land the heal block. I really need my Iblis to land the heal block. Please land the heal block. No, I didn't get it. Hmm. Unless I can kill the boss now. Unless I can kill the boss now. Four dots. Four dots, that's twenty percent, right? I need to deal more damage. Okay. I should be able to win. Okay, it's more than twenty percent. Oh, just a little bit. But anyway, um not an issue, right? I'm probably gonna win anyway. Yeah. Two dots is more than enough to kill him. Yeah, let's get rid of the boss. Put one more dot just for the sake of it. Okay. So you see how good is uh is Lucifer? He's one of the key hero in, in the Tower of Oman. You if you don't have him, I, I I'm not sure how you're gonna put land the dots. Okay, so now we are going to continue the climb. 61. Um I probably need to Do I need to change my hero? Okay, let's let's just stick to this for now. Okay, let's just stick to this for now. I'm just gonna auto from here. I probably will die also or rather I I probably will fail in one of these stages before four seventy. Um then I will change as star off in just for the sustainability. But so far so good. No not any stage that uh, is very tough. Even the floor sixty is not so tough. So you don't really need a um, uh, um, very interesting hero. If you don't have Lucifer, what you can do is that um, there's this hero that you use to uh, combine Astaroth. I can't remember the name, but she, she does a dot on herself every turn. And then uh, you can transfer the dots to your opponent. So it's quite interesting. If you do not have Lucifer, that is your best bet. Because that is someone that that's a hero that you can actually combine and, and get. It's not a it's not a hero that you can only got it through through uh, summons. Definitely two. What do I hope to get um for my LD scroll this this time round? Frankly speaking, I don't really have much hope for a five star, five star light and dark heroes. So, as long as it's not a duplicated hero, I'm fine with it. As long as it's not duplicated, and uh, some of the hero that I'm not really inclined to get is like the Navis, Navis, the the hero with a tall hat, like a like a don't know what, like a magician. So that's one hero that I'm not inclined to get. I don't find not that he's no good, but I I prefer more interesting hero like I don't mind uh, Apollo. Apollo does huge damage. It, it increases the it buff the crit crit rate as well. So I don't mind getting Apollo. I think that is quite good. <coughs> if Blitz die again, my Merlin is gonna die. Okay, I stun both of them. So it buy me two turn. That's the good thing about Frost, you see. Frost is able to, 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 to stun opponent 
um, when necessary. So I remember when I first tried to clear the Tower of Oman, there are certain stages that is quite tough. Okay, there are certain stages that, that were quite tough. So I actually made Force 5 star. Okay, my, back then my Force was like 5 star, I think. And in a situation like this where all the, all the he, enemies are like gathered in one place, and my Force, I will try to make all of them stun. I will stun all of them. So if I don't get the stun on all of them, I will reset the game, or, or rather, uh, uh, I will I will quit the quit this round and then quit the attempt and then come back again. So until I manage to get like majority of the opponents stun up, and I can kill off like one or two of them and makes the fight easier. So that's how I clear the initial stages when my heroes weren't that strong yet. But for now, even without the stuns, I'm still managing fine. So I'm saying that Force is quite Force is quite a interest, an, an interesting hero. Um, apart from Claudia, who also has a like a two turn stun. Um, when when she attack, and I think Force is the quite interesting. Although sometimes the stun doesn't land, then you'll be quite frustrated. So there's a certain element of like certain element of unknown in in whether you will get your stuns not if you didn't get a stun then probably you will feel very frustrated but if you get it then it's fine okay 64 64 has six heroes six enemies my force is going to die because it's five or all, all these six enemies are five fire unless i get a stun on them didn't get any stun so if i didn't get any stun then force is here force only has one job his job is to stun and if he, if he don't stun any of them he can't tank he's not going to, to tank all these five fire element he's gonna die okay he can't even get the heal off with his second skill because win against fire But I'm still able to win because um, I think I should be able to win still. Okay, left three more enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Defense break. Why is he attacking my Iblis? <laughs> Why is the opponent attacking my Iblis? I thought he should attack my, my, my flaws or 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 Merlin since they have the defense the, the, the defense break weird okay okay 65 65 the contaminate hey, this is an interesting hero i never seen this hero before you see some of the heroes uh, you probably won't even see in the normal stage. It's just the infected elf but in the dark element. But they got a Freya. It's going to be very, quite irritating. Oh she doesn't have the shoe. She doesn't have the shoe. This is the not awakened one. The non awakened Freya. So not much of an issue. Should be Should be doable. Okay. How I gauge whether these these uh, stages are easy or not? I look at the dam damage dealt on this enemy. My Iblis has quite a decent damage, so if she does, uh, uh, she does good damage, like more than one third of the opponent's HP. I think that this stage is doable because my Merlin also has good good damage. So this round is quite easy. Now she got an invincibility buff up. Oh, my hero is just going to waste the turn doing funny stuff. Hmm. Just wasting time, right? You see? Just, just wasting time. Oh my god, move already. My money is going to die. Not that it matters. 
Okay, you gotta provoke. Merlin, can Merlin survive? I don't think so. I don't think so. Can I? No, Merlin's gonna die. Okay. Okay, 65. Piece of cake. Sixty-six is all water. I don't have a fire, so I'm fine. Why didn't force get the stun? Even with hundred percent accuracy on force, um, sometimes it doesn't proc at all. Because there's only a 60% chance that the stun will proc. And if it procs and it's not resisted, then the opponent will get a stun. So previously, I ruined a uh, force with 100% accuracy uh, with a 6 star accuracy ruins, uh, accuracy substats on, on, the, on, the, on the ruin itself. So I, I replaced that ruin with uh, another attack ruin because I want him to deal more damage since the stun is also unpredictable. And now he has about 50% chance of uh, 50% accuracy I still have the rune in, in my storage so if need be I will just ruin him back but now he does a little bit more damage with less accuracy for stun but it's not so critical in this stage ok 67 is all the water element I'm going to kill my force, right? No, no, I don't have a fire, so it's fine. <laughs> the chassis, the chassis is so good, I tell you. The chassis is so good. Um, I wish that I can, I can get her like in in my summon. She's so good. She can. I think she does like um stun as well. And she does a lot of damage. Very good, and she's very sexy. Um. You know, I'm a guy, so I, when I look at this artwork, um, I like how they draw the all the all the uh, female heroes so sexy. I mean, who will go to fight in that, that kind of outfit in the real life? You know, in my main screen, my lobby screen, I put Iblis because Iblis is so sexy. She looks so nice. She looks so pretty. Iblis should be a five-star hero. Just because she's so sexy, right? I think she should be just a five star hero. So the the higher the, the, the stronger the hero, the lesser she wear. That should be the case. Then this game is gonna be prohibited. It's gonna be banned. So it's 68. 68 my Iblis is gonna die. Hmm Never mind, let me switch out Iblis. Put in my star off. Anyway, my Iblis is not going to deal a lot of damage on this wind monster as well because uh, they probably go to glance, right? We also got the evasion. I'm not sure how the evasion works. Is it like a there's a chance that that if you use a weaker element to attack a stronger element, what's the percentage that you were you were not you will glance, I'm not sure. 30%? 50%? Because I know that sometimes I can still crit and deal the full damage that it dealt as if, as if on other hero. So I'm not sure what kind of percentage the evasion has. Is it like 50%? Oh my god, so many stuns and sleep. Do something. Okay. He kill something. Yeah, not so difficult. Just a waste of time. Oh, stop stunning me. Oh my god. So irritating. I hate the stuns. Two turn stun is a lot. Okay, now it's 59. 59 is water element, so I'm going to take out my star off and put it back my Iblis.
Next is 70. Didn't get the stun. Anyway, he does it on one enemy only. So it's quite stupid because he only damaged damage one enemy. I hope that. Oh my god, they deal so much damage, it's so painful. Oh no. Am I gonna die? I probably need to to auto manual the stage, right? No. Do I need to? Okay, okay. Okay. Left two of them. Uh, okay, I don't need to. False alarm. I thought they, they are going to kill all my damage dealer. I mean, even so, uh, my my Freya is going to still can manage, but the number of turns, I might run out of the number of turns. I might run out of turns. So, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going to analyze the boss at level 70 and see how we are going to tackle the boss. Okay, level 70. You see some of my guildmates, they climb until level 80 and 90 already. Wow. Okay, level 70 is this guy. Okay. Vitra. Vitra has no defense. Okay, but look at the HP. Oh my god, look at the HP. Okay. It has no defense. Um reflect damage so i'm not going to do damage likewise you're going to use the dot again you're just going to use dot okay the attack is not very high so you just need to continue to dot and play hard and seek with the boss the speed is not so high as well so bring in my lucifer bring in my ifrit to do the dot mm. do i have anyone to increase the speed Okay, let me see. Maybe just her, right? Just to slow her down and maybe just to remove the path. Yeah. And this will do. I mean, I can do with Iblis as well, but Iblis. Can I go with Iblis? No, I just go with Charlotte. You don't need them to be at level 70. This boss is, should be easy. I should be able to clear in one attempt. Let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. Okay, look at the look at the speed of uh, Lucifer. It's 270 with uh, with the buff of Freya. 270 speed. Okay. Okay, now I have one dot on him already. I'm just gonna play hide and seek. I'm gonna slow him down. Reduce the attack bar. Okay, let's reduce the attack bar. Okay, I got it. I got a slow on as well, which is good. I'm gonna do some more dot. Okay, I got one more dot on it. Put one more dot. Yeah, put one more dot. Okay, I got three dots, four dots. I'm just gonna hide here. Okay, just work on him. Look at that that chunk of hp that went down okay my lucifer is going to hide at the back okay put one more dot didn't get it got to remove this shoe okay not going to give it he make it easier for him to deal damage on my heroes the shoe up lucifer does another dot lower his attack bar okay i got it does another dot Yes, I got it. Lucifer does another dot, but resisted. Um, let's do some damage on him. Look at the HP. So the next turn I should be able to win, right? Okay. Lucifer does another dot, and let's let's put one more dot. Didn't get it. Just put the slow on. Okay, Lucifer. Now there's three dot. Might not be able to kill him. Okay, now he should die. One dot. Yeah, he's dead. I just kill him. So easy. 
Lucifer is so good. You just need him to be fast. He's like a, he's like the, the guy at the back always irritating you and then running away. He's that guy, right? Okay. So um, now for this video, I've cleared um, to level seventy. I'm gonna stop the video here and then I'm gonna make another one from level seventy one onwards to maybe eighty or ninety. See how tough the fight is gonna be, and um. Uh, I will see you in the next video. If you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, um, leave a comment or like. I will really appreciate you doing that. Thanks for watching. Bye.